A group of volunteer gardeners in Mount Maunganui are dismayed that they may soon have to pay rent for a small patch of land they've been cultivating for free for 18 years. The Tauranga City Council is reviewing user fees on council-owned land and is proposing charging the Bayfair Community Garden $314 a year. And while that figure might seem like a lot, for a group of mainly elderly volunteers, it's a king's ransom. Plus, there's a point of principle. Our reporter, Andrew McRae, paid gardeners a visit this morning. Under the flight path to Toronga Airport, a dozen volunteers are toiling in the garden, with one of them getting into trouble with the boss, Joe Stock. Right now, these girls are putting in some kale. It's, it's a curly kale. The community gardens on a small patch of land, just over 500 square metres next to Arataki Park. It's fenced and there are garden beds full of vegetables, a couple of sheds and a compost area. The volunteers turn up twice a week. And I just got them a job. And we soon turn into a family and we're quite a close-knit group now. We're all supportive of each other. You know, we see each other through sickness and all kinds of things. And, and we really are like a family to each other. Joe Stock's been the driving force behind the project from day one. She says it gives people an opportunity to meet others and to get their hands dirty, all in the knowledge that the produce goes to those in need. To the Tauranga Food Bank, and it's distributed right amongst Papama, Mount Monganui, Tauranga, they all go there, yes. So you're providing a real service for the community? Well, last year I sent off 539 vegetable boxes, they're banana-sized boxes. Um, the food bank van comes with empty boxes on a Tuesday. Got the garden and I couldn't see the lettuce, so <laughs> it started no, weeding. Take, take the netting off. We've got netting off on mm. there so that the birds don't pick them, home. Mm. They really attack them. Pat Pamant's been coming to help out in the garden for seven years. We all get on, we have a good laugh, you know, and yeah, it's super. Nice, you know, it's giving back to you know to people, and and it's cheaper than going to the gym. <laughs> <laughs> While there are more female volunteers, men are encouraged to lend a hand too, like Patty Browning, who's looking forward to celebrating St Patrick's Day tomorrow. It's just good to get out and get into something that keeps me occupied. You know, since I retired, it was it's only two hours a morning, but. Some days there's 15 or 20 here, some days there's only three or four of us. Depends on the weather. <laughs> Sharon Parry is another regular. It's, it's just lovely. We chat away and make fun of each other and, <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> to what the face, not behind the back. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think the idea of maybe the council talking about you know, charging rent? Well, I think it's a bit off, really. I don't think they're being very compassionate. Jo Stock says a letter from the council came as a real shock. She says if they have to pay rent, the money would come out of what is already a meagre nasty egg of about $1,000. I get the seeds um, donated to me, but I've got other costs, you know, um, running costs, fertiliser and um, all kinds of things. Really, $1,000 is hardly anything. Jo Stock says there's no way she will abandon the garden. Not folding up, no, it's not an option. We'll, we'll fight it, we'll, we'll, we're going to get it, get it going, keep it going somehow. Would you like the Mayor to come down and see you here? Oh, I'd love for Greg Brownless to come down and visit. The Tauranga City Council says no decision on charging for the garden has been made yet, and it stresses it's only a proposal at this stage, and a final decision will only be taken after public consultation on its long-term plan meaning the group of green-fingered volunteers will be waiting a few more months to find out their fate. For Checkpoint, Core Andrew McRae-Tenay.